Yo, live on Zach TV One. Who do we finally have in the building? Yo, hey, man. We go gang in the building. Wire and Mango. Fur, 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 fur. Listen, I'm gonna get right into it. I see niggas. You know, I, no disrespect. You know, we we know Quavo. We know Takeoff. We know Offset. So I saw a nigga saying instead of calling you Quavo, he called you Halo. <laughs> hey Joe. A ho in instead of take off a, a, a nigga said drop off. drop off, fake off, hot sauce. Yeah, all that. Uh uh <sighs> Bro, why are you getting so much fucking hate and bashing on social media, bro? Cause they don't like basically they don't like the style. They mad that they didn't think of it first. Okay. Because I'm the first person out here in Chicago that's going to do something like this. Okay. They ask you for, you know, being different, so they don't understand. Like I said, niggas don't like it, they don't understand. So if they don't understand, they don't know how to approach it, they don't know how to comprehend it. So the first thing they do, they turn to it because niggas nature just hate. So this is what they do. What, 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 did this, what did this come from, bro? It started... Hey, when the Migos blew up, even before they was Migos, I was rocking with because I came up with the Migos. Whoa, 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 Bro, you said you came up with the Migos, that's why you fly like this, right? Yeah. So you talking about out in Georgia with Quavo all set and take off? When they counted, that we came from. Up north? Straight from the north, yeah, straight from the north side, north side of the That's crazy, big dog. So, so what made you migrate to the Chirac? My kids were there. Okay, okay. So I usually be back and forth, but I'm here now more because my kids out here. So I got a situation going on with my kids, so I know that once I get them all, if I want to be good, we're probably going to shoot back that way. Mm. Shoot back to the origins. How, how, how was the transition coming to Chirac from Atlanta? I mean, it was different because it's different from down south and up here. Because I know down south, we get a lot more love. People like more friendly. In Chicago, mm -hmm. they just, they just, everybody for themselves. They don't want to hear, they don't like certain people are helping. If they know you, but they don't get you know, to be a man for themselves, like free for all. So they gotta know you in order to give you some assistance? Pretty much. Okay. They gotta know you rock with you. Okay. When you be on the air or the bus or in public, everybody take pictures of you. I know, that's like the new way, the new trend or something, like a challenge. Like when you see me, I gotta be photographed, I gotta be recorded. Just so the next person can put it on, you know, on the internet so they can the, make the picture go by just so they can get a name for themselves. The whole time, it don't really matter who uploaded the picture. The people looking for me. Mm, mm, mm. So before this me go comparison and shit like that, were you always popular? I mean, I was yeah popular in my own way. Yeah, because I'm always creative. I got the mindset of because I've done the studies. I went to school for this, so I didn't I didn't mind it in psychology. So it's only three percent of the world's population that got the same brain as me. So I knew that since I was little. So I take pride in that being the only person. I select few that got a brain and a mindset like me, because I'm just creative. So I've always been known just because of who I am. I don't think like no regular person. Super dope, super dope. What would you call yourself, a trendsetter? I mean, pretty much, yeah. A trendsetter don't really care about what the next person thinks, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite quote? Like, just say you just hit a stain, a finito, you just hit a bad bitch. What would you say, that way? Yeah, that way. The rich way. The rich way, huh? The rich way. Mm, 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 be mm. yourself way. You do what you can. Okay. Hey, I want. I'm gonna close up on the camera. I want to show the, the, the jewels. Please show the jewels, bro. Please show the jewels. Mm. Hey, here we got Migos three piece. You see the label? Why I ran? Versace. Wow. You can link choker. This some little gifts. Wow. Wow. This is. It, 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 it's real. It, 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 it's definitely real. Where do you see yourself in the next, you know, three to five weeks with, with all the attention you're getting? You just hit world star, you're all over Twitter, you're all over Facebook. Yeah, uh, basically, I see myself in somebody's studio making like putting some music out there. Cause people been asking me, they said, You already got the look. Might as well put some music out there so they won't think this is just a Facebook thing because it ain't. Cause I really do. I started out from producing, like in high school, that's what I was doing. I was just messing with the keyboard because you know, I took a music class. So the whole school caught attention because I was so talented with the keyboard. So I'm like, okay, now I'm about to start making beats. So I was known for years for making my beats. So that's basically how I got into the music thing. Okay. And, you know, since I didn't fail back on that a little bit because I've been in at a time working like, on the business and all that. And it was like, okay, now you just need to start rapping. Because a lot of people been coming at me like, yeah, they want to collab with me, get me in the studio, they want to do something. 
make it take off. Mm. Get some money, they see all the hate and stuff that I've been getting, so they're gonna be like, you know, you're getting all this hate. Put some music, put some music out there, they got there to take you serious now. I'm like, okay, that, that sounds legit. Being that it's already a, a, a YFN um, mango in the game, do you consider changing your name or not? I mean, that's just because he, he uh, I know who he is, that's, that's mango food. Yep. That's what everybody gave me computer like it's the real mango. I ain't trying to be nobody else. I mean, it ain't my fault that the name sounds similar. I ain't taking his name, mango food. I'm just saying mango. I like, I like mango. I like fruit. Basically, what it came <laughs> oh, from. Whoa. Hello, hello, whoa. Like, you know what? I, I picked that name because a mango happened in the only fruit type. Hold on, mango is what? I like, I like mango. That, that's just like fruit. So your name mango came from because you like the mango yeah. fruit. Yeah, I could call myself apple. That would make no sense. But mangoes and fruot and apple and all the fruits I eat. Like okay, that. so I mango sound about good. So we we clean the record. They call him mango fruit not because of the rap in Atlanta, because he liked the fruit. No, that, that's that's how I got my name. How he got his name, I don't really, I don't really know. I never asked him how he got his name. Okay. But I was just saying that you know, making that comparison, so people won't be like, I'm taking you know by the floor, I'm taking his name. No, okay. He got his name his his way. I got my name because of, I like that fruit. Okay. Growing up w with the Migos, how was it with y'all? Growing up? I mean, they was always cool. They was, I mean, they were basically like family, like brothers. So we kind of always catch them together. Okay, have y'all ever got into any arguments or whatever? No. See, this this one, like, when we were, like, little. Like, so that's why I sat in the way before Migos, like, when they was Polo Club. I was rocking with school, putting music out there. It was, it was cool. So he was always, especially, like, Offset, he always had a temper. Like, he was always funny. He was, like, always a uh, hey hole that, yeah. was, that was just him, though. That's crazy. Do you think the Migos remember you? I doubt it. They see so many people. That's, I, I, can, I know how that is. Like, when people come up to me, I can say, you don't remember me this and that. I run into so many people, and you don't remember nobody no more. Do you feel like you was left off bad and bougie? I mean, people see my lifestyle. It's just like uh, DJ Academics say, see my lifestyle, you see how I'm coming to. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Tell me about one of your craziest fan experiences thus far since all the attention. I mean, it's like all the time, basically fan experience, that's all the time. Every time I go somewhere, every time I go somewhere, people know who I am. They want to take pictures, trying to see. All right, the craziest one, I was on my way to like start my, uh, start the other company I was doing. Like somebody, they literally stopped traffic. They literally stopped the car. Me and traffic got out the car. I'm like, hey, I know who you is. Got to take a picture. And me and traffic got a, got a green light. I'm like, I can't believe it. Like, hey. This is what I signed up for. I know coming along with this lifestyle. Have you ever got, no disrespect to, to, to your chick, have you ever got hit because they thought you was one of the Migos? No, nah, somebody told me that on the train before. Like, it was a dude, he was about to get off. I guess he said he was talking to, I don't know if that was the girl or whatever. He must have saw me. He told the girl on the phone that that's who it is. He gave me the phone. And that's what she scared to me. She said, oh, it's crazy. What's that? Well, I'm going to suck your dick. What you would like what, what thoughts go in your head? You know what I'm like, my... really? Like, who says stuff like this? Like, is it that serious? You wouldn't accept it? I don't know this kid now. I don't know her. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm flattered though. I'm flattered, but I don't know who she got. Okay. 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 What's 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 the title of the debut mixtape or single or album that you're working on? Uh, you talking about me? Yeah. I got this new uh, it's a song coming out real soon with my my ten year homie that we grew up with, Mr. Hill. We got a song called Lost in the Sauce. He Lost in the Sauce. He sent me the beat and everything yesterday. I just gotta write my bars to it. I'm, I'm messing with the beat. When I was out of town, he was the one to hit me up. Since I know him personally, I really work with him. He's just, he out of town right now, so he'll be back in like a day or two. Okay. So he'll be definitely working on that. And just to hear Lost in the Sauce. Lost in the Sauce, man. This is my first feature. That's going to be dope. Seeing that a lot of people lost in the sauce and always trying to follow other people's footsteps, how do you feel of that people that look up to you and want to be like you? I mean, if you look up to me and want to be like me, I have to tell you to be yourself. Because everybody knows, like, everybody that's following me on social media. They see that I don't really care about what the next person thinks, so my advice to the next person is do whatever you want to do, put your mindset to it to be great, and not care what nobody else think about you, and see how far you get. And that's basically what I did. So when people say, oh, this nigga Amigos looking like a young thug baby with Quavo, do that piss you off? No, I, it don't really piss me off because I, it, it's expected for people like that. If they don't know me personally, of course, when you pop in, everybody have a story about you, everybody will have something to say about you. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. Tell me about your most viral video. It's the one when you on a train with Gucci down and you playing the Migos. It's the one when you walking to the bank. Uh, the, most, the, the two most viral is, I'm going to say about a month and a half ago. I think I recorded, I, I did it like, oh, like about two months ago. I was on the bus. I forgot where I was going. 
it was some dude that, you know, he knew me. I, I guess he knew me. I was rapping the uh, Bad Boys, I did Quavo, you know, I was on Instagram, Instagram video, I mean, it long. So I'm guessing like two weeks ago, I see it, it's some, some dude named X Santana, whatever his name is. I seen him share a video, and once I seen it on his page, it said views. And one day, it's 790,000 views in a day. In one day? Yeah, one day. I'm like, just for riding the bus. I'm Bro. Like, I wasn't doing that a minute long for riding the bus, 790,000 views in a day. Then it touched a million like another, the next day. So it's safe to say you're made for this shit. <laughs> I guess so. I'm, not, I'm just being regular. I'm, like, I'm literally not doing this on purpose. I'm just literally just being myself. And the other day, like, because I just got back in town not too long ago, I ain't even been in Chicago 24 hours yet. I'm on the train, you know, on my way coming over here. Some dude kicking with me in my face, you know, he record, I ain't know he's recording me, you know, I have to speak on listening to uh, Slip. That's the, that's the video that just viral again. For riding the train. A million plus views for riding the train. That's crazy, that's crazy. My bed is not even knowing he recorded, I'm just being myself. Do this make you, just when you be in traffic, on the bus, on the L, and people all in your face taking pictures, do this make you be like, man, fuck this, I'm gonna give me a cop. I mean, that's been crossed my mind before. A lot of people telling me, you know, might as well get a car because how you be coming out, you know, it ain't safe. You can't be, you can't be out here like that. But I tell myself, I mean, whatever it is, it is, because I shouldn't be scared to wear my stuff out in certain places. If I want my money paid for it, then of course I'm aware, but I learn how to drive. Like, if I teach me how to drive, I can have been a cop. Hold on, hold on, bro. You that busy that you, you don't know how to drive? Oh wow! So that explains why you be on the L the bus. Yeah, cause okay. it ain't like people like saying cause just cause you on the bus or train you broke. I mean, rich white people that I know, like rich white people that ride the train and bus it, they just saying stuff out of ignorance because they don't really know. That's but true. Just cause you want the, the bus or the train don't really mean nothing. Most I, definitely. I got enough money to buy the bus and the train if I wanted to. No. <laughs> Talk that shit, man. That's Talk all that. Guys that don't know how to drive. Say so you got enough money to buy the bus and the train. I got I I, I got another question for you, man. Hit your favorite Migos verse. Give it to me. The favorite Migos verse. We just all said the bad news like the verse came on. Okay, okay. Give it to me. Everybody part but uh but uh Lil Uzi. I mean he kinda messed it up. He's um he say all set. Yeah. Rackets are rackets, get rackets, get rackets, rattling and running the coop. Yep. I take your bitch right from you. Bitch, I'm a dog group. The whole, the whole thing. I was like, the so, whole do you got it on your phone? Yeah. I want, I want to see you turn up real quick. I want to see yeah, how long would it take you to find a song to turn up? I mean, it's like right there. Okay. Plus, I did my own like freestyle to the. I did my own my verse. A lot of people kept saying I left the bad boots the whole time I got a verse. Mmm. So play that basically. Turn myself up sometimes. Let's let let let's hear you turn up to the Migos. Right. Then I want to hear yours. All right. Let's let's do that one time, y'all. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh huh. Cause they saying you left off bad and bougie. I don't believe that, man. Let's go. All right. Nobody. Everybody said this is the one that left off bad and bougie. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Do it look like he left off? The same like this is like same thing with takeoff. This is the one on the song. Do it look like he left off? Oh, hold on. Takeoff. What no? He, he went. Now nah, he went. Wow. He was in the video though. You seen him, but just cause he ain't get verse people to say he left off. So they ain't put him on or you. That's crazy, man. But come on, let, let's hear it. Everybody watching. Uh huh. Okay. Come on, cross it. Okay. Okay. Where you at? Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Turn up right now. Turn up. Turn up. Now it's time to hear yours. Let's hear yours. Let's hear yours now. I like I like you was in the sauce, man, but I want to see you tee up, man. This you, man. You mango. You mango. You mango, man. 
Uh, and Mako, I gotta ask you too, man, because you was a motherfucking saucy king, man. Designer, 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 MCM, Louis, Gucci. I think I'm not no bad 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 you can't come nothing or something, nigga. I don't tell nobody they quit the trigger. All the big gang they coming to you. Okay. Wow. Okay. I wanna, yeah. This you? Yeah. Okay, here you go. This is what the world wanna see. They wanna hear your bars. Pull, sip it, have a drink, give me money, what you think? Uh. Club with your bitch, ride around, hit a lick, sell it to the economy. Uh. Go to the moon like astrology. Damn! All of these niggas, they follow me. Got your bitch on me, now she about to swallow me. Uh. I said, the fuck, then now she didn't know. Yep. Shawty broke down and stopped telling the business. I said to the mama, you tripping, I don't give a fuck what you did, good business, good business. Now we're sitting in my condo. Uh. I don't even know what to say no more. Chillin' smoking at the top floor. She don't wanna be a freak no more, but. Yo, rich nigga, I am authentic, Versace, your bitch, you rip out of forensic. Uh. But show that my brother, we got different mother, you talking that chicken, I spin it. Uh -huh. It's on the avenue, bend it over, she tripping the tree, and buddy, and I told her, had to look back, like, whoa, whoop, whoop, so I had to pull a hole. Wait, yeah, this way. I broke his hell, that's what she say. Uh. Uh, yeah, this way. A pocket rocket cut the lead way. Mm. Uh, yeah, this way. Dang. Serving bricks off the freeway. Uh. Uh, yeah, this way. The niggas follow me on Sensei. Damn. Damn. Hold on, we gotta cut, we gotta cut that, we gotta cut that right now. My nigga, they should have put you on bad and bougie. You killed it more than them. Bro, what the, listen, right now. If you can meet Quavo, Offset, Takeoff, even Lil Yachty, or even Young Thug, what the fuck would you do? What would you say? What would be your first five words, bro? Y'all ready to make this music? Mm. If they say, bro, Mango, we want to put you in a group right now. If, if you could replace any member in a group, who would you replace? I won't replace nobody in the group because like they all need each other. Okay. They all basically need each other. So, so you would just add on to the group? Yeah. What would you bring to the group? What would be your, your asset, your talent? I mean, basically what everybody been telling me is I can be all three in one. All of them got their own personality. Since I like kind of know them, I can be all three on one oh, person. Okay. Who do you dress like out of the Migos? Uh-oh. Come on now. Yeah. Come on. I got to say Quavo and Offset. Quavo and Offset. Yeah. Who do you look like? Quavo and Offset. Who do you Depends on you know, the day or whatever I throw on. Who do you think like, like certain chicks? So, what 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 type of chicks? Even though you know what I'm saying, you you got your relationship shit going on. What type of chicks are you? You know what I'm saying that you look for? I mean, anybody that can hold their own, anybody that's the, you know independent, somebody that don't really depend on nobody. Maybe somebody that can hold their own weight. Somebody that ain't no leech. Mm. Ain't just looking for no come up. I got I got I got to say this one more time because I think the camera missed it. At the Migos, who do you look like? Which one? Quavo and Offset. Which one do you dress like? Offset. Which one do you think like? Offset. Which one do you smell like? Quavo Lancho. Quavo Lancho, man. Bro, I, 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 I know they're going to see this. I know they're going to reach out to you. And I know they're going to tell you we need you. When they fly you down to Atlanta and tell you come move in this mansion, what you going to tell your family and friends, bro? I got to make the money for the family. Mm. Do what you gotta do. Should they come with me? I saw a picture. You got a lot of fucking haters, but you got a lot of support too. A lot of support. But you got a lot of haters. I saw pictures on. You know, you just chilling. You know what I'm saying, Ryan? I see you cooking with the bands and the mother on the stove. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People <laughs> giving you hate for that, bro. You just being yourself. Yeah, basically that's what everybody is swapping down. I'm trying to be somebody else. You know, the whole time I'm just being myself. It's in your blood. Yeah, just to be just different. That's basically what the whole thing is out here. When you came out the vagina, your first words was that way. <laughs> Might as well, man. Mm. It's motherfucker. Well, man. Okay, okay. Listen, man. What do you want the people out there in Zach TV land to know right now? What you want to tell them? This is your t chance to speak to the world. What I want to tell them is that this, 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 this ain't no Facebook page. You know? mm -hmm. I ain't just a motherfucker, you know, you just catch me walking around on the train, the bus, or whatever. Just take pictures of me, just like the Migo. It's somebody that got the mindset to really make millions of dollars off this. Mm. Just doing something different that everybody else scared to do. I'm gonna give the people what they ask them, but they want me to put the music out there, that's what I'm gonna do. Do you consider yourself a sex symbol? I, I won't really say that. I won't really say that. I turn bitches on, though, to be honest. Just for being myself. 
Do you think that you're in the midst of an identity crisis? No, I know who I am. I know who I'm going to be. I was supposed to be a long time ago. Have you, not on no funny shit, I'm just asking what the fans want to know. Have you ever got out the shower and thought about the Migos while you're, while you're naked? No. No, 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 not on no funny shit. No, I never did that. Okay, okay, okay. Do you, do, 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 do you ever think like, okay, one day I'm wearing some cowboy boots, a Derrick Rose jersey, my dress, the glasses, the shades, no ankle socks, and some long job, just to be different. Cause this shot right is is good to be different. Not that exact like fit, but something like kind of similar. Okay. Do you you don't believe in violence? No. You don't believe in thirties and ops and none no, of that. No, I don't live my lifestyle like that. So if a motherfucker was like, man, fuck you, God, I saw people saying they want to rob you. I know. I'm you want to take your sh show the ice, show the mother, sh show the ice, show the ice, ah, show it to the camera. So, mmm. You just living your life, man, and they say they want to take it from you, bro. Exactly. How do that make you feel? Like why people got so much hate in their heart for somebody that's trying to be different? Like why you gotta be like a crab in a barrel to see somebody trying to make it out? It's just natural instinct to try to break a motherfucker down. Do you do you feel you're riding their dick? No. You don't feel that you're okay. That no, you're, I, I, I say no because everybody swept it down like they say you're biting their style up for that motherfucker. If you know the music industry, everybody then took something off of somebody. The facts. Super facts. Yeah. Fendi facts. That's a fact. Everybody, everybody took the style off or something. Cause basically, like when they first came out, like I said, around 2013, I thought that was like Gucci. That's what they sounded like. That's what I thought it was. But like, he was locked up at the time, so I'm like, okay. It's like everybody influenced somebody. That's why they're working with the man now. Mm. Gucci was a hit before the Migos came out. That's he a still fact. Is. So now he, you know, he didn't got locked up or whatever. And then they came out. Now he out. Now they working with each other. When I first reached out to you, did you think it's a joke? You like, nah, this this ATV is this real? Did you think like was it like what did you think that I was really who I am? Yeah, I did once I went to your pictures or whatever, because you know everybody be hitting me up on, you know, trying to do stuff with it. I just gotta like check out who you with. I gotta check the profile out. So you, you never know. That's a that's a Fendi fact. When you realize like, yo, hold up, Zach TV reaching out to me, I must be big, right? Yeah. That's the only thing we got on the phone, you're telling me that uh Charlotte made the guy all the time, I'm like, okay. Sound like that. That's real. Listen, man, you saw, you shared some shit that Boosie put up, right? Yeah, I think I seen that yesterday. I'm like, we got jokes, bro. Everybody is talking about you, man. Um, let the people know where they can follow you, at, bro. And they can follow me on Facebook, Andre Williams. Follow me on uh, Instagram, YRMA. Somebody just said something else in my name to go viral. You just see my name at the clock at the top. You just click on it. Mm. I gotta hit follow for my friends. Follow me for. Me. If you had to really sum it up, wait, what, what, a, what, because a, you jumped in this group called Chicago versus New York. Now it's called the Chicago versus Everybody group. No, they, yeah. Was people giving you a lot of hate in that group? No, I ain't gonna say because a lot of people know me from from New York too. Because I got, I'm, I'm, I don't ask people out there in New York before. I got people that stay in Philly, so I the East Coast. I'm cool on the East Coast. I was just in the hundreds of, like a few weeks ago. Hold Somebody on. from New York, he knew me. Wow. He, I don't know what he's doing down here, but like, yeah, you that dude from uh. From that group, so I'm from New York. I know who you are, like, so I know a lot of people from New York know who I am. That's crazy, man. You want to give a shout out to that group or not? Nah? nah, shout out to the group because they the ones, you know. Put you on? Yeah, they kind of put me on. Facebook uh, audience, they didn't put me on. All of the groups, you know, they know who I am. They still laugh, make their jokes or whatever. But shout out to everybody that support me. Shout out to everybody that don't support me. And you represent for Atlanta, not Chicago, correct? Yeah. So it's really like fuck shot, right? I ain't gonna say that. Uh, but you get on, what you gonna represent? Atlanta. <laughs> but, I but, but oh, it's real shit, you was born here though, right? You was born down there and moved here. Yeah. So you gonna put on for Atlanta. So you represent for the Atlanta. Yeah. Your favorite mall is Lennox Mall. You don't eat Gabbro cheeseburgers and Italian beef dipped with hot peppers. No. You don't put masks on your fries. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. So, but do you wake up to alarm clocks or cock a doodle doos? Basically, uh,. When I'm here, I wake up to my kids. I think you get ready for school. Do they motivate you, bro? Yeah. Okay. Um. This is this 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 is fantastic. Um. I wanted to so, somebody say no. He really from Chicago. He got nine one on his hand. A nine zero. What, what does that? Please talk about the tech. Why I ran ninety one. That's basically like the it's the label. Why I ran ninety one the group. That's the like uh, the uh, the chain quay why on us. Same thing. I was gonna get QC on this. The same thing. I also have, but this one hurt like hell. So do you do 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 you ever think like damn what if 
I'm getting all these tattoos of these guys and I never meet them. Or nah. Or you know one day it's destined to happen. I haven't seen them before. I'm talking about, but like again now. Oh, you know, man, I mean, it is what it is. I'm still stay true, you know, to who I am. Stay true with it, you know, what it is. Still won't hold it down because we all got the same thing stacked on us. You know, by this being Chicago, aka Shot Rack, a motherfucker run up on you while you headed to the bus stop or whatever. Try to put the 30 to you like motherfucker. What you, you gotta, what you gonna do? You gotta you, do what you gotta do. Like what you said, it's our time, it's our time. Push some chains. Yeah. Oh, so, no, 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 like, they ain't trying to rob you, they telling you, nigga, you finna act like you from Chicago, what you gonna tell them, nigga, I'm gonna die when you go? Yeah. You gonna, you, you gonna die for this shit. I'm riding for mine. Riding for mine, ain't nothing, don't put no fear in my heart. Fear every, with God. Every time a Migo mixtape or album drop, do you go get it, download it? Yeah. Wow. I, I mess with all the music, yeah. Have you ever been to one of their concerts? Yeah. When you die, do you want to sign autographs? I don't think you're going to be having time for all that. I'm just becoming just to enjoy the kick and just to change the scenery. That's what's up. That's what's up. If it gets to that point, then yeah, I don't know how to do that. I fucks with you, big dog. I really do fuck with you, man. Um, your, your style is different. What's your favorite fashion designer? Because you rock a lot of shit. I mean, Gucci, I like Burberry, MCM, Fendi, Prada, Pennies. Well, I never see you in no mics. No, that's the thing. I don't wear mics that too many people wear. Woo! I don't want to wear the same stuff that everybody else wear. That way. That's why I like this jacket. Uh huh. And these shoes. I, just, I did the shirt last night too. I spent three hours designing this. I you made did. this. What's the name of your business? Because I see you always talk about you got your own business. Yeah, uh, it's a marketing company. Okay. Uh, called Zoom. So it's really an uh, EMMG marketing company. We got officers everywhere. I got officers out in Decatur. That's who I be with my team. I just came back you know, not too long ago. Came back to my family and all that, so I, I can make money from here and out there. Be back and forth. Not on no gay shit, pause, super pause. Do you, because the Migos do it. Versace, do you wear Versace drawers or Hanes? Hanes. I never oh. got into the Versace draw. I mean, I could. I never run across it, but draws, draws to me. As long as they hold your balls up. Right, as long as they come. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow. If, if you had the opportunity to have a threesome. With the Migos and a chick, would you do it? <laughs> with yes or no? <laughs> yeah. Smash. Ah! Yeah, we smash. Ah! Bro, you, you got the shit, you got the talent, you got the look, you got everything. I do not think nobody in the world fucking with you. Once this interview drops, they're going to realize who the fuck you is. Make, say your name one more time for Zach TV. Why are we Mango? One and only. You see the label, we go to the game. And, and once again, you see the label, but you're not signed with them, correct? I'm not signed to them yet, but uh, it's in my mind once I'm thinking it will come true. That's what's up, my dude. That's what's up. What, you, what, what kind of fame do you expect to get when, once this interview drop? I mean, so, so people that you know be entertaining. See us now and be like, okay, now this ain't no, no nigga we catch on the train bus just trying to dress like this. He really trying to do something. He really trying to make this music. He really got goals. He got plans. So my goals mm. be a long way. Do, do, would you, yes or no, rock a turtleneck in the summer? I wear boots and pants on sometimes. I don't wear shorts. You don't wear shorts? No, I don't get how to from Atlanta. I wear coats. <laughs> Hold on, brother. I, I, didn't, I was out in the hunts before. Same dude. He, I think he was from he, he was like Tennessee. He knew where I was from just because of what I had. I don't have a hot ass coat. It was like 90 degrees outside. I wear coats. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm back for some reason. I wear coats. No, that's not bad. So, being, even though it's the summer, you're from Atlanta, you normally wear coats in the summertime, right? Yeah, like uh, like Takeoff said, in the middle of the summer, wearing chinchillas. Okay, would you, do, do you ever get musty to the point that you smell like a Jewtown Polish? I don't really move around that much to be sweating that bad. Okay. I don't really go outside, I don't really lean around and kick it like that. I'll just be going from one place to, a, to another. So when I, whatever I got on, make sure I hurry up and get there. So what happens, I need to walk around and go to the store or something, and yeah. Who I make sure I don't get to the point where I'm smelling bad. I can't do that, I keep my hygiene up. If you could have any motherfucker in the world teach you how to drive, who would it be? And don't lie. For some reason, I don't know why Cardi B. <laughs> bro, <laughs> no, no disrespect. I ain't trying to laugh at bro. You want Cardi B to teach you how to drive? Yeah, just because like I know, like her persona, like she just laughs, she just out there. It'll probably just be, it'll, it'll be fun with fucking with her, learn how to drive. Cause she'll like have on the radio or something. She'll be close to do just her voice. Just off of, uh, drive, motherfucker, yeah, the Bronx. It'll be funny because you know, I know if I get in the car with like a girl or something, somebody I know, it is, I'll be kind of nervous. You know, they, they gonna be telling me shit, but this is like a female. This been a, a, a very interesting interview, man. I got to know the real you. Bro, one more question. No disrespect, just let me know. Have you ever received a first of the month check? Because you know motherfuckers be like, oh, he's crazy. Yeah, all that. Yeah, you think like that. You must be crazy. You must be getting checked. No, I don't know damn check. 
a man, if you don't work, you don't, you don't believe in that. I wouldn't even, I mean, if I had the chance, I wouldn't even accept that because it ain't legit. I want to work for mine. My nigga, I salute you for that. What's the worst thing a motherfucker ever said to you that really had you thinking about your life? Uh, it was like something I said. You bitch ass nigga, and I see you on the rob. I had a funny ass comeback for that though. I'm like, okay, you a bitch ass nigga. I see you on the rob you just to see what it feel like. So you gonna let him rob you, then you gonna reverse and rob him? Yeah. This shit is like Uno. Yeah, to see what it feel like. I ain't never did it before. I don't, I don't live my lifestyle like that. I believe in karma, you know. You get back what you put out. Like, you wanna say it to me? Okay, I'll take you home. I said, you want to see what you're going to do, because a lot of people say they're going to do this and that. But to be honest, nigga, this lies if they see me. Shit. Okay. Salute, man. Um, Give a big shout-out to Zach TV, big dog. Shout-out to Zach TV, man. I have so much love. Appreciate you coming out to talk to me today. That's First to me, the interview is Breakfast Club on their next. I'm trying to shoot out to New York as soon as possible. Listen, yeah. Breakfast Club, Vlad TV, Say Cheese, We Are The Truth Tellers, College Kid, DJ Academics. I know you're going to be everywhere, man. I just wanted to break, break you first. Pause. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before we, you, when we leave out here, show the grill. Yeah, let me let me get a close up of that. Yeah, that way, that way. One love, my boy. You got Instagram? Yeah. What is it? Wire and Mango. And Snapchat. Wire and Mango ninety one. Twitter. I don't have a Twitter. Okay. And everybody know the Facebook. Yeah, Andre Williams. That's what's what's up. One love, big dog. Good, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, one dog. You already know one dog. That way. That way. That way. Yeah, my boy.